This is the third and the last part to the chapter minerals, and today we are dealing with mining and the need for conservation of minerals. So as you know children, mining is the process of extracting minerals from the earth or removing things from within the earth. All right. So there are certain materials which cannot grow like a diamond or coal or, coal, or gold or silver, uh, tin, etc. All right. So since they cannot grow, they must be mined. This mining things from the ground is called an extraction. So mining includes the extraction of metals and minerals like copper, gold, coal, platinum, tin, silver, iron and so on. And even uh, we uh, even mine oil and natural gas. So some mining children is done by just scraping away the soil or dirt from the top of the ground and some mining is done by going deep underground into a mine shaft. So when we just remove vegetation or dirt or bedrock or, um, and other layers of earth on the surface to reach the ore deposits like coal and um, salt then that is called surface mining all right and this process is called quarrying as you can see in the picture here it's all on the surface it's easily extracted <clears throat> some other time children minerals are found at a considerable depth they're found really underground so some mining is done by going deep underground into a mine shaft this kind of a mining is called a um, an underground mining. Gold mining is done in this manner as you can see in the first picture here. It's given in your textbook also. This is gold mining. All right. Um, and not only is gold mined in this manner, you can also get gold searching in the bed of a river or other stream of water. This is called placer mining or panning. Now, um, through this underground mining process, we have to like dig really deep holes and insert pipelines or even like huge holes with railway tracks, right? These kinds of uh, digging is called drilling. So for petroleum, natural gas, gold, silver, iron, diamonds, etc., we use this kind of uh, mining. And a worker in a mine is called a miner. Now, uh, there is a need for conservation of minerals. Okay, it is very, very important that we conserve or we protect the resources that we have. Conservation of mineral resources is essential because they are a country's valuable possession. So, some ways in which we can uh, protect the conservation of minerals have to be explored all right because conservation is the wise and ethical use and protection of valuable resources because human beings need them to survive so you have got land water air trees wildlife minerals and many more all right all of them are important for our economic and social development not just of human beings but also of the country so we should use them wisely, keeping in mind that the future generations also need them in future to satisfy their needs. Okay, so children, uh, minerals are extracted from the earth's surface for the invaluable use. And they are very limited in supply. Okay, in order to form something, as I told you before also, it takes millions of years. Therefore, these minerals are non-renewable and non-replenishable. Okay, that means they cannot be made again very easily. Okay, it takes, it takes millions of years for them to be formed. Nowadays, there is increasing population. So because of this, more people need more uh, minerals, right? So obviously, when too much of it, of it is extracted, there is a decrease in quality and quantity. Of these minerals so it is very important for us to conserve these minerals 
because if we use it too much then it will totally get exhausted right all right uh, children you should also remember that technology should be upgraded to allow the use of low grade or at low costs also okay so there are certain methods of con conservation that we can do number one is we can replace the conve uh, conventional power resources like coal petroleum okay they can be removed and instead of these we can use hydroelectric power solar power um, wind power biogas all right so these are renewable resources you can make them so that should be substituted then also we can remove the expensive and very rarely found minerals with readily available minerals okay then thirdly, children, we can recycle all the minerals that we are using, like iron or uh, any metal, okay? And uh, we can use new technologies of mining. Uh, we can also uh, instruct the miners to minimize wastage during extraction and so on. Okay, so through all these processes, we can conserve the minerals that we already have in our earth. So in order to do that, we have some guidelines, okay? So these guidelines that we have is that technology should be upgraded, okay? Uh, minerals should be used in a planned and sustainable manner. Okay, recycling of uh, metals also leads to the conservation of mineral resources. So these small steps should be taken by every individual not just the miners and not just the industrialists but every person like when we are using public transport then we should go for um, um like you know cars or vehicles which carry a lot of people okay we should go for carpooling we, sh we should switch off the lights and fans when they're not in use okay now you may say but ma'am electricity is got from water but actually children 70 percent of electricity in india is generated by burning coal so all these methods all these power saving methods can be used and in this manner we can conserve minerals and energy resources so that brings us to the end of our lesson on minerals we shall be having uh, tests as well as classwork etc so um, please feel free to connect with me if you have not understood anything. Thank you.